I, I would say is, is simultaneously both. Um, we we anonymized about a terabyte of data, um, and we 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 so we asked each vendor that was our finalist in our final group um, to sign a business associate agreement so we could send them some data. It, even though it was anonymized, we wanted to make sure that we had that protection. Um, and then we anonymized data sets that we knew were problematic. Um, these had these were patients with hundreds of comparisons, functional MRI or multiple functional MRIs. So data sets with tens of thousands of images um, and single studies, um, data that was broken in some ways, nonconformant DICOM, uh, to see how the systems would handle it. And even though it was a data set that was um, it, it was over selected for things like that. This is the real world data that we get. It's not all perfect, perfect data coming off the machine. Um, and so we wanted to see how that would handle it. So we we are used to anonymizing data for research purposes um, and have automated pathways to do that. So that part wasn't identifying the data was probably the bigger challenge that we wanted to make sure was there. But based on some of those um, challenges. We, a lot of it was already in our test system. And so we um, were able to anonymize that relatively easily and in an automated way, and then send each vendor hard drives full of it um, or put it somewhere. Challenge was vendors didn't know how to handle it um, because they, vendors are used to the, um, and I understand why, but they're used to their data sets. And so they, they know which, you know, which study is going to pull out their beautiful CTA and show their post-processing capabilities. And they know the other one that's going to show a multimodal data set that maybe includes pathology or a clinical image. And when we give them a terabyte of data, they have no clue what's what. Um, even if we give them a label, it's not something they're using every day. And so that, I, that was a major problem. So we had one vendor who basically ignored the request um, to show us our data on it. I don't, I don't remember everything, but they essentially did not show us our data on it. We had one vendor who loaded it, but only showed it if asked. Um, and then the third vendor only had our data on the system, but didn't know our data and so struggled through the demo. Um, that happened to be our incumbent. Um, so it didn't hurt them in the end, but that was the, but it, it, it made them it, it made them fumble around is probably the nicest way to say it. They were fumbling through the data because they didn't know it. And I understand that as, as a challenge. So that's why it was a, it was a cool idea. It didn't work the way we, we had hoped it would. I'm curious. So you have a terabyte of data that you provide. Did it also have like a corresponding like spreadsheet that would indicate um, here are the, the studies and the different types and categories of edge cases? Yeah. Yeah. And then we asked to be able to see those cases up. So we knew which patient had 100 comparison studies or 500 comparison studies. We knew which ones were, uh, you know, the functional MRI. And so we could ask for that. Um, but they didn't. They didn't know it from, in the level of detail. It wasn't part of their muscle memory. Yeah, it's interesting. Sometimes you you make this assumption that the incumbent is going to have uh, an advantage because, you know, they're already playing with this data. They should know it. I've seen this before where um, an incumbent, you know, th th there was a requirement to connect to a system that they should have had access to. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, it's just it's funny the the challenges that get, you know, like get, are presented in front of them and you would expect them to have no um, particular challenge. And they do, uh, which is always yeah, fun. It, it, it was very interesting. I we. It didn't turn out the way we had hoped it would, but it, I thought it was an interesting experiment. It is I, I, probably the better solution is to be able to get a test system that you can install locally and, and actually try it on your data so you're the one driving it and you know your own, your own data that you send to it. Um, and maybe in future systems, that's what we would try to do instead.